put my thumb on the side of the spool. I don't put it on top of the line. I don't do this because you're going to burn it up. Put it on the side here. Okay. This is my new pin 113-40. Uh, it's, uh, it's loaded with 50 pound test line. It's on a um, ballistic, Diewall Saltiga ballistic 13-3. It's in three parts. So we're just going to practice with it today. Anytime you use your thumb and you toss it conventionals, make sure you, sp you spray down the spool. Unless you want to get your thumbs severely burned. Okay, you notice I'm going to be not on the line, but I'm going to the side here. Okay. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk up to it because the lead went into the ground. Great. Oh. Okay, just attach my line meter measure. Let's see now. Oh, good. It didn't bury itself this time. I'll use my two fingers to put pressure on the line coming back. This has 50 pound mono. If I went with 40, I would have more yardage on it. I would cast farther because less wind resistance. But it, the 50 is better against abrasions on the reef than the 40, so that's why I went with the 50. This is all personal preference. There's no exact science to it. Also depends on the area you're in. Okay, how much yardage did I get on that? Ah, uh, only 59.5. So let's say roughly 60 meter cast. Not the greatest, but I just got this. I'm still practicing with it. All right.